Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody this morning? Today I'm going to be doing a love reading and we're going to start with the gorgeous white light oracle. I am obsessed with these. Not only is the artwork and the writing profoundly beautiful, but it really kind of generates a peace and balance within me when I read these words and the premise of everything really being connected so beautifully and calmly that when we slow down, everything that we need comes directly to us and love is part of that as well. We have to remember too, there's so many things we can control. So many people say, oh, that's out of my control. It's out of my hands. But we do know things we can control is our beliefs, our attitudes, our perspective, how honest we are, the type of foods we eat, the type of people we allow in our love, how in our love and our life and our hearts, how often we practice gratitude. That's a huge thing. When we have gratitude for what's already around us, we look for more of the same, the things that make us happy and advance us and expand us just like love does. So it's funny. I walked into um, my daughter's room because I liked the lighting in here and I was looking around at her books and I just wanted to let you guys know if there's one book you can get your child, yourself, or especially like a preteen. I remember when I got this, how to be an explorer in the world. And it's absolutely genius because it talks about these combinations, combined groups of objects for vis visual or emotional contrast, try natural versus human made colors, alive versus decaying. Cause India used to love to get like old bones, um, leaves that were drying versus fresh leaves and all these things, light and dark, and all these combos of everything that she'd save. And I loved looking at them. And I do that for my artwork too. You know, alternate things like write about what it's like to combine two different activities like eating and reading, walking and photographing or drawing, things like that. How it makes you feel. Because I feel like this time of year, everybody's getting really expansive. But I remember just loving this book because it talks about everything, lights and differences, collecting multiples of one, things like stones and rocks. I know a lot of people like that. People watching. This used to be your thing to sit in a public location and document people you see for like an hour. Take really detailed notes, make sketches of one. One of the reasons that I love doing that and people watching is I'll watch little gestures and also how aware or unaware people are of their environments. That's something that I love to call the love decoding because I watch the eye contact that takes place with people, you know, that are um, in the same age groups and how they kind of assess each other or if they're completely into their phones. I'm always blown away by preteens and teens that can walk, navigate, and be completely on their phone texting and talking. I remember in the old days, I feel like it was much easier to meet people because we were walking with our head up, looking around at other people, right? It made a difference. So these are things we can control, our eye contact we make, the conversations we have. And again, I want to share this fact because I thought it was so amazingly high in this percentage. Um, I knew it, this was true, but I didn't realize the percentage was so high. And now I really believe it when you think of um, how we can have a connection with somebody and they don't approach us for quite some time. It's saying that maybe 5% of men, men, you know, I'm going to just show, show this because women is probably similar too, but 5% of men um, will spot somebody and they might just approach anybody and say, hi, how are you? And ask them anything because they have that kind of fool card mentality. Like who cares? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, or they're clinically insane. They just don't care either one. But there's like an 80% that are fall right in the middle that don't approach a woman ever, ever because they, one, are always looking for the perfect opportunity when they're not in a group of other women, when they're not at work, when they're um, smiling, all of that because they're reading all the facial cues all of that. And then they're also waiting for the ideal thing to say in their mood to kind of coalesce with this approach. So think of that, like 80% of men, I, I think it probably is quite similar to women too, are looking for the perfect opportunity, the perfect thing to say in the perfect environment and how that never comes about. And when it does, um, sometimes whatever they say comes out insane or very iffy or strange because they're nervous. They feel pressurized. Um, all of that. They're so happy that they think they have these ideal conditions that they kind of fall over their words. And I thought that's so sweet. So I'm always a advocate for people 
never, never going hard on that first impression of what a man or a woman says to you the first time they meet you. Because obviously if they're trying to conduct a conversation with all these conditions and they feel rushed, it's like, it's one of those things where you're giving a speech and you might be pressurized. So I thought that was so sweet. So today we're going to talk about, you know, the love, the love um, path purpose and um, really what to identify and what be, might be coming your way. It's such an exciting phase. And I tell you guys what, there, in 2020, it is like a dam is just busting loose and all these connections are being made on soul levels, on t kindred spirit levels, on huge levels. And people are, are just feeling a lot freer. They're feeling a lot grounded. They're feeling a lot more authentic. They don't feel like they have to prove anything. It's like the age of Aquarius where people are feeling this energy and they're riding that beautiful wave of love and they're pretty fearless about it. And I'm excited about this. So let's see what's sort of coming in that element for you and what can be looked at. And remember, we always have control of what we do with our time, how we spend it, where we go, how we treat ourselves. And this is an age of self-care and slowing down as well, which I love. So let's find out what our three um, choices are. Number one is Ivory Wish Fulfilling Crow. Number 39. Number two is Perfume of Sophia. And number three is Tantra of 639 Hertz. And oftentimes when we listen to certain megahertz and hertz in music, it brings us to a kind of beautiful level. It can bring us, you know, almost to a hypnotic level on the dream level where we absorb um, all of that, the theta levels, beta, all of that. And that's why I'm off. I'm often talking about when, if you have a very busy mind and you're feeling hyper to listen to classical music, reggae, certain music, it brings our heartbeat down. Um, it makes us happy. Let's face it. When I hear really cheerful lyrics like Bob Marley, everything's going to be all right is one of my favorite songs. I would listen to that during work and listen, words, have the power of suggestion and can change the way we feel. So really listen to some great lyrics. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. I want you guys to take a deep breath and make your choice. And again, I want to thank you guys for all your beautiful comments. And I love when you share and you guys really seem to like this deck a lot. I was so impressed with it. The writing, everything about it is beautiful. And I've got to tell you, right, this is the one deck when I pick it up, as soon as I put a card down, my ears start to ring. I start to receive messages. I start to feel good and calm, almost like in a meditative state. It's amazing. I adore these. I adore these. So the ivory wish fulfilling crow says, you can have what you truly want. Such knowledge really helps and soften and release fear for us, grasping and control and doubt. So have confidence right now that the universe hears your prayers and even now is leading you exactly to what you seek. Okay. Have no doubts in this. You can take sanctuary, sanctuary within your spiritual connection whenever you need, you know, stabilization and protection against fluctuations of the external world. I often do that. Um, I was at the mall yesterday. I had the best time with my friend Jeannie and every once in a while I get adrenalized because all of that energy and I need to relax. And I just start to think of certain images like this. And I ask Archangel Michael for protection to slow things down. And I start to feel grounded and that will happen. No matter what's happening around you, there's always a way um, through the fulfillment of your potential in anything to ground out, to feel good, to call in this love. Okay. So no, calam no calamity or cataclysm can shake the powerful divine tree or creatures that live in it for shelter. The sacred tree is a place of sanctuary and protection where no harm can befall any of it in its inhabitants. So the wish fulfilling tree is a spiritual symbol for the soul and the heart and the divine bodhisattvas, you know, or enlightened sages who guide and protect humanity. It represents a really high level of consciousness. You know, it's abundant. It's in harmony with the universe and it's very blissful, free and generous. And I always feel like that's where love result resides a hundred percent. So this Oracle reminds us that you align with spirit spirit and you aligning with a powerful field of grace. It has protective and strengthening qualities. It's a spiritual tonic, you know, with the effect of all dimensions and realms of existence. So 
this sacred empowerment really guides us in our lifelong journey. And we need, when, if we disentangle our hearts from societal conditioning based in fear, dominance, greed, victimization, getting one's personal desires met at any cost, we recognize there's a profound difference between taking and receiving, right? We trust in what's destined for us. Again, in terms of love, we don't lie or belittle somebody else that we feel is in competition for the same person, stuff like that. We go along the sacred path and we know that this wish fulfilling um, entity helps us when we use good. Again, we, we have the power to control what we do here. So we definitely have to, again, release and disentangle our hearts from all this society's conditioning that tells us. We see it in films, right? Like I don't know if it was like my best friend's wedding or whatever, like these people try to sabotage each other's lives. So they'll have the attention and affection of somebody else. Um, this is the opposite of that. You're always going to have what you need. That's going to benefit you. So in love, you're going to be doing beautifully. I love this and works perfectly with what's going on with you right now. This is a beautiful mantra and clear quartz works really good for this. I feel like it magnifies if you put it next to rose quartz, which is the stone of love. It magnifies and emanates that for you. I am a clear channel of love, light, and well-being. All of my heart's desires are realized now. We know when we've been out somewhere that um, all of a sudden we'll make eye contact with somebody or have a brief conversation with somebody. Our energy shifts. We feel really great. We feel alive. We feel vibrant. And it's almost like a, a kind of beautiful euphoric hug from the universe, right? That's the energy we want to be around and seek for our, um, on our love path and never, ever, even, you know, never, ever settle on anything. If one thing is off or you see this person in a different light socially, they treat people on kindness or whatever, right away. Don't make excuses for them, you know, set boundaries, have that conversation. And if things are arising that cause doubt in your heart, again, like greed or, um, ineptitude and in how to be a decent human being, then we, regardless of looks, money, or any of that, we need to release that because this is all about being really true to ourselves. So I just love, love these cards so much. And I have to share this because I thought it was so funny. When I went in Indy's room, I remember getting her all these books because I was a manager at Walden's for a lot of years and complete wilderness training manual. And I started reading and I read the weirdest factazoidal that blew my mind. And um, it talks about weather conditionings and how to read up on them. And apparently pine cones before it rains will close up and tighten because they absorb water and they don't want to expand to the rate. Like I'll say one of us guzzling a gallon of Mountain Dew and eating a can of Pringles, right? We don't want to be swelling up like that. So they close up. Now, when conditions are purportedly going to be dry, they open up. So that's why you see all those open pine cones. Not, not you know, the new ones that are just beginning to form, but all of that. I thought that was so interesting. And if this is what I mean about things coming together, because I wanted um, the rose petals for love and just a natural background. And then I walked in and it was like the room coordinated with what was going on because this was out. And then there's another red book over there and all these fun things. And I was like, that is interesting. What I'm going to do is just move this back. So it's a little more secure and things don't look at this queen of pentacles. Okay. I'm already getting messages of what this, what is happening here. So let me kind of tuck in five of pentacles. This is the time frame, you guys, for you to connect with the person you're supposed to connect with. Look at this ace of pentacles. This, as soon as I'm talking about doing my Stonehenge reading, my private reads at Stonehenge in this thing I'm doing, and Jeannie is coming as well. This card comes up all the time. This is not only a new person that you don't know, but they have a very high spiritual aspect. It's someone and with these pentacles, I'm definitely feeling like it's an earth sign. Earth signs are wonderful in terms of, uh, you know, being just lovely and balanced and together and having, you know, a lot of clear cut, like future plans, you know, they're very organized and let's begin with this a so this is also saying about you turning a corner of how you think about love and how you think about yourself you know and i feel like you're really elevating who you are and you're knowing that when you have a really good perspective and you're honest when you ask yourself is this really good for me am i really honoring myself and what's going on you'll see the different types of people you then attract it's like they that you're raising the bar spiritually intellectually 
um, all of those things creatively. So the people that come to you and your kindred spirits and your soulmates now are on this high vibration that make you feel really great. And because I'm definitely feeling Pentacle City, that these are some earth signs I love, um, Taurus, Capricorn, these types of um, people are, it's enduring love. Ian is a Capricorn too, and we have been married for 26 years. And it's one of those things where I always know I'm going to have a reliable everything. You know what I mean? Attitude. Um, things are going to be looked after that, that need it. You know, you, you know, when certain bills are due, like I always forget that people come to the house and fill our oil tank. Like it doesn't appear out of thin air, <laughs> stuff like that. So it's just one of those wonderful things that it's like, you can create and do what you need. And you're going to have this lovely person by your side that reminds you, Oh, you know, um, this needs doing or whatever. And again, this is going to be your energy within this love cycle. You're really elevating your opinion of yourself in a beautiful way, knowing, you know, you're beautiful. You have um, high value. You are so worthy. You are such a wonderful catch and you have so much to give and offer that you realize you don't have to do that now continually. I feel this group are such givers. I feel like you look after other people. You know, you kind of become the agony on at time and you listen to other people's problems. You have a healing energy. People even say, oh, you have a good vibe. You know that you, you are probably a lot of you guys empaths. You feel that energy and you're sensitive to it. Like big crowds can really drain you and you feel like, oh, this is rather much rather much. And I feel like your numbers, you guys are two, two, twos, five, five, fives, all of this. And you're going to have this beautiful kind of elevation in every regard as 2020 approaches where everything is like divinely guided for you. It's really gridded out. Again, you're in this beautiful ivory wish fulfilling crow stage. You feel enveloped in this tree of love and understanding. And you know, you're not self-righteous or accusatory to other people that aren't aware or awake yet. You understand that. But what's happening is your magnetism is going to be at an all time high. So be patient with people that come suitors because you're going to have a lot of people, male, female, doesn't matter what you are, but you're going to have people that are really attracted to you. They're going to want to have your time. They're going to be vying for your attention, jockeying for position, kind of like you're the queen or king at court. Um, but you're going to have a new attitude of being patient and loving and realizing you get to be discerning. You get to bring the people into your circle that you want. It's just like you're having this epiphany that's like, wow, you know what? Time is valuable. And so is, so is my company. So you are really reevaluating who deserves it in a wonderful way. So this is all about your love path. You aligning and directing yourself into this beautiful sphere and within five months having it arrive and you just feeling like I knew it. I knew that I was destined for this. You know, this now the last couple of months I feel like was probably a stage of recuperation, recovery, contemplation, you know, and it's like your now your goals are going to be achieved even more and it's like you get to rest from all that action and then things just come up to you. No more discord. Um, no more hollow victories, n the illusion of being trapped or powerless. You realize you are not, that you have all the choice that you can ever want. And you walk into this beautiful, like happy village, you know, where you see what really matters in a huge way and you're divinely protected and guided and you feel that. And because of that prosperity and all of this comes about also great wealth, you know, you do have some serious financial gains coming. And I mean, to the degree where you're not worried about a long time, if ever, how to pay mortgages, school loans, any of that, you are going to be situated beautifully. Oftentimes that comes with this beautiful awareness that you are taken care of by the universe. You align with your, what you should really be doing with your life. And because of that, you do it beautifully in finances. It's, it's a skill set that's of high value to others. So, you know, people pay accordingly and you just feel this grace and wonderment all around you and you're deserving of that group one. So I'm very excited. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you need a private read or anything of that nature, if you want to come to my Etsy store, the new goddess provisions box should be here within a day or two. I'm so stoked about that. Um, th oh, I wanted to say thank you to my new patron, my new generous patron, Marie. I asked her what type of read she likes and she says love, of course. So I was like, okay, I'll go along that. And I, I all my patrons, you guys, whenever you want, if you like Melanie, this is really, you know, 
I mean, I always provide, especially those higher tiers, if they want little mini reads, something is going on, you know, to advise them. So all my patrons, you know, regardless, you know, of your donations, that if you have something going on at any time, you can email me and go, oh, Mel, can I just have some insights on this? I'm always there for that. And if any of you guys are just going through a trouble phase or something insane is happening to you and, you know, you don't feel, firstly, that you have... A, uh, a circuit of people that can listen unbiased with a healthy detachment and a professional uh, opinion of this, always feel free to come over to my Instagram and DM me. Some people are just, they feel like they're, what their experience is so fantastical, whether it's in love, whether it's spirit, you know, spiritually health wise or all of that. Um, as you guys know, it's like I spend probably 20% of my day just researching everything, you know, psychology, more medical facts, um, everything, esoteric breakthroughs, all of this stuff, because that's part of my job. As somebody who advises other people, um, I want to know what's going on and I want to have solid facts behind that. So if you ever have something going on, feel free to DM me. Um, and that's, that's not, that's different than, um, wanting reads. Cause some people are like, Melanie, who's my soulmate? And they go over there and I'm like, that's quite different. I don't have time to be doing, you know, free readings for everybody over there. That's not what I mean. I mean, if you're having an issue, like a lot of people, there are side effects of being, um, spiritually awoken, you know, the ears ringing, the tingling, the detachment from kind of like everyday life, things like that, you know, and, um, because sometimes it's frightening. It's like, whoa, I don't even feel like I'm in the 3d anymore. It's something else. So always feel free to come over with that. And this is happening. This is really happening. Remember our, um, our, our visions are very strong and very helpful to us when we tap into it. So I'm very excited for you. So I love that for you. So now we're on to number two, which is the perfume of Sophia. So right now you're going to be able to sense the best timing and approach to take with this card, um, to create space for healing, for resolution, to connect to your body, to ground yourself in the here and now with body friendly practices, you know, plenty of water, eating healthy, stretching, all of that. You're going to find your way intuitively and ex instinctively, even though confusing circumstances might be around you where one moment you're sure the answer is no, the next morning you're sure it's yes, right? Give up on trying to figure out the answer right now and remain open with positive but relaxed expectations, right? That clarity is going to emerge spontaneously according to divine timing. Like right now, some of you might be asking, is this the one? I feel some kind of connection. Are they a soulmate? We don't need to press and kind of hound time and ourselves because it comes, it really does divine timing and everything, letting you know whether you should leave a job, um, whether you should um, start a secondary job, give somebody a chance, give somebody a second chance, all of that. So trust that your question about life is going to be answered, okay? Even now, you know, you're in the process of working your way towards the answers that are going to bring you the clarity and high understanding that you need. You know, there's really a kindness in how the universe delivers messages too. There's a story of three rabbis who went into a room and saw God and one rabbi dropped dead, the other went crazy, and the third one became enlightened. It was the same room, the same divine presence. So what accounts for this different outcome? When we are ready for knowledge, divine guidance is incredibly helpful and healing. However, we need certain experiences to become ready. There's as much grace in veiling a truth as in revealing it. You know, there's a beautiful Sufi teaching that destiny is granted with compassion. There's a time to prepare for knowledge and a time to receive it and live it. And there's a danger in trying to force knowledge, forces a desire to progress faster than is naturally taking place. And this disconnects us with a natural rhythm. So when people are really breathing down the neck of time over, where are they? Where's the love? Where's my person? You know, what's happening? All of that. It can be very, um, it can be very detrimental to us because we're not ready to receive that yet. And, or we start to interpret signs of whoever is around is our soulmate is the one because we're growing impatient instead of letting the, and allowing this divine timing. So let's see what's happening for you guys. So you have the emperor. I am so excited. Nine of water. Your wish is coming true. Okay. This is crazy. So I'm going to just take a breath and just connect with how I should express this for you in a non-spazoid -spaz manner because I'm very excited for you. Okay, first of all, we need to begin with strength because this is saying you are now ready to receive this knowledge. You're going to have an understanding. You know, 
you're going to be able to multiply goodness and well-being and amplify all your love right now because you're going to have massive increased clarity, peace and understanding. Um, and that's tied into your emotional state, which is saying, okay, I can read this like a calendar. This emotion that's coming towards me, this individual, like the exchange of energy, you're going to be to read this beautifully because you are not second guessing your skill sets being able to do this firstly, but second, you, you're going to have the self-confidence it takes to attract the right type of people, you know, not people that see vulnerability or a victim, like ah, I'm going to take them for everything they have. I'm going to, you know, get free sex. I'm going to, you know, what I mean by that is just like, that's all they want. Or I'm going to get um, somebody who I can provoke, intimidate, manipulate. None of that. You are not going to fall for any of that whatsoever, meaning you're going to attract your ideal mate. And I definitely feel, again, this is another four number, so four months. And this person's personality is emperor, empress level where, you know, you're going to think in an organized logic fashion, how these people fit in your energy, your family, you're going to, you're going to have something that integrates with them, that teaches you structure and discipline in your life that makes you feel good because you're going to be walking into this strength is really, I'm feeling for this group, confidence and well being and knowing who you are and feeling like a really fresh aspect that you know, you deserve marriage commitments, new loves, financial security, all of that stuff, new um, kindred spirits coming in to help you. This is really about a lucky win and good fortune, the way this is lined up for you as well. Secure future, financial stability. This is really, really a change for your financial and the better too, I feel with this um, nine of water and emperor energy for sure. This is you getting what you want and your perfect ideal and your soulmate coming in and, you know, also acquiring new wealth. And part of this is all about, you know, you understanding that when you open your eyes and you get connected to what matters, what matters comes to you, what matters to you comes to you in a really wonderful way. So this is really exciting. You understand what it is to be loved in the right way, to be respected and cared for. So you're manifesting this utterly and completely beautiful group too. So I'm very excited for you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And I definitely feel like Archangel Ariel is close by, you know, great inner strength, releasing harsh judgments of yourself. So you're being more present and aware as well. So you're not having, you know, these hostilities and problems. You wish your wishes are coming true. Um, concerns fade away. A love life, a rich, rich, love life. Again, with this card too, I feel like you, you're starting to attract all types of people, but you have a very discerning eye and heart and it's going to know who is good for you and who is not. I love this. Just success is coming in and raining all around you and you feeling good and connected. So I'm loving that energy for you group too. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Yay. If you need any further assistance, all my links are down below. Private reads, everything. Come see me on Instagram at sparkwiz11. I do daily posts and memes. I connect to other people with DMs. I do this so I can connect with your energy and help you. So if you're ever going through anything, DM me. You know, Melly, this is happening. A lot of people don't understand the synchronistic events, numbers, and things like that. I can give you the lowdown on that over there because it's really fun and exciting time in life and love is coming and love is wonderful and it's a huge energy it's like a tidal wave and it's amazing so i'm very excited for you guys if you again get out there and just be yourself a new stream of wealth of information actual money abundance and love is coming for you so it's a super exciting time now we're going to go on to number three which is tantra of 639 hertz if you look on um, youtube too and you plug in so and so megahertz a uh, meditation um hypnotic all these kinds of music that can help you with this um that's definitely great to kind of connect you with that restful energy so number three is saying this is you know this tantra is saying being open to what seems unfamiliar to you or different right sometimes we just feel like um we can't be bothered but that's what helps us gain new perspective and expansion for sure you're going to experience a breakthrough as you embrace an unusual approach to something because you're on a soul path of accelerated spiritual growth right now. Um, it's swifter than a, it's swifter, but it's not always easier because you don't have to, um, 
contrive your own happiness, but you can dip into bliss within your body to lighten your mental state and remind yourself everything is working out beautifully, right? This is about less pushing and just sitting back, reading a book, having a great cup of coffee, watching the snow fall, taking it easy and going to that place in your mind where you derive peace and quiet because I feel like a surprise present is coming for you too. You know, I feel like you're going to be in this beautiful honeymoon phase with yourself where you're appreciating yourself. Therefore, you're drawing in this beautiful love energy and attracting exactly what you want this time. You know, you're not having fear. I don't want this. I don't want that. We're not concentrating on what we don't want. We're concentrating on what we do because Tantra is the conscious creative intermingling of the sacred masculine and sacred feminine energies that dwell within all of us, right? When we choose to honor the interplay of these sacred energies, we become able to engage with the mysteries of our life and respond really creatively. You know, Tantra is the refusal to turn away from life experiences, even the painful ones, because we recognize with wisdom, spiritual growth can emerge in all things, right? If we were hurt in the past, we don't carry around fear and fear of rejection or pain. We say, I learned from that. And that's something that I now know to keep an eye out for. I don't want, and I change my frequency and vibration to heal healing, right? Spiritual growth. This is the willingness of your heart to thoroughly embrace that which is difficult or different than what we expect, right? Keep an open mind because oftentimes when we anticipate something and that doesn't come to pass, we start to like, you know, go into a decline with disappointment. But what spirit has in mind for us, I promise you is always way better than what we can expect. So this is about being patient and evoking unity. You know, this, this hurts this 639, evokes this unity, this frequency. It moves beneath conflict and grounds us in simplicity, connection, and love. Again, I'm always talking about simplifying. The ego wants to complicate, um, inundate you with so much information. And what we want to do is clear and strengthen our energy flow, our inner systems of our body. You know, it promotes cellular renewal and healing. And this is about heart healing for you and you being able to tap into this. So I want to see what's going on with some you know, we don't want any fears. We don't want too much going on at once. We want some beautiful, um, gorgeous connection. Oh my God. Everything is about unity for you for sure right now. Yes. I'm loving this. Yeah. You know, we're, we're not having competition with other people. We're not having competition. You know, we want a more playful approach to this. We don't want fear surrounding love, money, connections. I just almost dropped this. I had to reconfigure it my hand. What's going on? See, I feel like so many exciting rare opportunities are really going on right now in such an epic way. Yeah. Okay. So first I want to begin with this unity because this is everything getting aligned for you. You know, your mind, body, spirit, everything is working in conjunction to raise your frequency. Therefore, I'm, I'm not kidding you guys when I feel like the dam of love is breaking through in an epic way and your vibration is going way up because you're, you're having so much more meaning in life right now. The little things, the beautiful things, I feel like Christmas time and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and all of that are, is very meaningful to you. And you, you like wrapping presents, you like doing all those beautiful little gift giving things and you're feeling really warm and friendly. Something is happening with your frequency. Like this love is coming in and you're going to start to recognize and align with it within a month. There's something that is just very powerful helping you right now. You know, I feel like you're going to be implementing these beautiful, um, methods that help you really move along beautifully. You are also seeking mentors and like-minded friends right now. And I feel like, you know, the, the, um, information you're letting in is really, um, love dense, like it's making you feel good, like nutrient rich food does to our body. This is doing for your heart and mind and knowing that you're ready and you're prepared. You don't have to have doubts and fears. Again, you can entertain a multiple of scenarios because you're going to have a lot of suitors. I definitely feel this. And you know, you can go out for a cup of coffee, have a text conversation, have a FaceTime with this person and really get to know them and take your time. You are in no hurry because this is your soulmate. Um, this is kind of your soulmate phase. So they're coming toward you. But what happens with that is you're super attractive to other people. So you're trying to navigate these waters. It'll be very clear when they arrive, but you might have one or two people that you feel are wow, very special. And again, we're not racing. Divine timing is going to show you this, you know, an exciting new opportunity too. I feel like you're going to, you're up for career advancement or also change in vocation, a new job, new wealth, a new feeling of security is coming for you. You're not going to have to worry about money or any of that. You're going to have these surprise events happen that are beneficial monetarily and 
it's going to be fantastic for you. But let's get to this page of fire because this person that's coming in is very outgoing. They're very creative. They're confident. They're fun. They're mischievous. They're witty. They have dry, uh, dry humor. They're wonderful. And I'm definitely feel like it's a fire sign with this double fire, you know, Sagittarius, Leo, um, wonderful, wonderful, like confident energy and somebody who inspires you because they're adventurous people, you know, fire signs really like to get out there and learn new things are very adventurous. So I feel like don't overwork yourself right now. This is a beautiful change. Don't be afraid of it. Again, this, this tantra energy of getting aligned with new, new understanding of who you are and how valuable you are. You know, you are going to have a connection to your highest self and it's going to guide you beneath the compelling nature of appearances, right? That are vastly different times from people's spiritual and, um, a spiritual and heart space self, right? So you're, you're going to see so beyond the superficial and none of that is going to matter. And it's like your brain has that extra gear to just tap into someone's heart and it's going to be miraculous. And this is your last, this love you encounter is the one. This person is the alpha and you are theirs. And it's just going to be this connection that is unbelievable. And it's almost like electric, continual electricity where you're excited to be awake, alive and around this person. So in your preparation for this, you're going to have some really cool stuff going on. So I'm very excited. Yay. And if you're new to my channel group three, get ready, hold your socks on. It's a coming. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below. If you need a private read, come see me on Instagram at sparkwist11. If you hit the little gray arrow, it'll bring you to all the links. Love and light, you guys. I'm going to go upload 